Hi, and welcome to Cool Gadgets and Stuff. Today we are going to review the new Creator Max 2 from FlashForge. This 3D printer can do it all, and features independent dual extruders that allows you to use two filaments or even make two items at the same time. In this review, we will cover the build quality and assembly, features, software, and take a look at a few test prints. At the end, I will give my personal experience over the last month and my final thoughts. If you would like to jump ahead, all of the timestamps can be found in the description below. I want to thank FlashForge for providing us a Creator Max 2 in return for our honest review. Now let's go ahead and get started. First, we have the build quality and assembly. Overall, the Creator Max 2 is a solid printer. It's well built, easy to assemble, and comes with everything you need to get started. I would say in total it took about an hour or two to get set up and running with its first print. The device is housed in a completely metal frame and has multiple ways to enclose the chamber depending on what type of filament you are using. The printer dimensions are 20.7 by 16.4 by 19.7 inches. It has a net weight of 33 pounds and is surprisingly easy to move with the included handles. The build volume is not the largest, it's 7.9 by 5.8 by 5.9 inches. Calibration was simple and took 5 to 10 minutes in total. All of the more complicated systems like step motors are calibrated and ready to go out of the box, making this a perfect printer for first time users. Moving on, let's talk about what the Creator Max 2 brings to the table. I would have to say the best addition to this printer, especially over the previous Creator Max, is the independent dual extruders. These are awesome and enable you to do some pretty cool things like using two filaments in a single print and printing in mirror or duplicate mode. The addition of two independent extruders is a pretty straightforward advantage. Having two colors in a single print is great, but I am really blown away by the mirror and duplicate modes. I am always printing two of each item anyhow, so being able to do it at the same time has been fantastic. Another thing of note is the type of filament the Creator Max 2 supports. The printer can be opened up for PLA printing and enclosed for ABS and other materials that print better in a heated chamber. It supports PLA, Ultra Strong PLA, PETG, PVA, ABS, ABS Pro, and HIPS. The ability to use HIPS and other liquid soluble filaments is a nice advantage as well. It gives you the ability to print in soluble mode, using one of the extruders only for the supports. This is one of the best ways to produce perfect prints. The last feature I really want to bring up is the LCD touchscreen. It's fairly responsive and displays all of the information you need. Let's move on and talk about the slicing software a bit. The free included software flash print handles everything you would expect it to. It's not the greatest, but not the worst either. You can transfer the models to the printer using the provided USB cable, and it displays the progress and temperature of the bed along with both hotheads. You can also pause and stop the print both on the touchscreen and through the software itself. Next up, let's take a look at a few of these test prints. First up, Benchy. This print turned out really good as you can see. There aren't any deformations, no elephant feet or loose strands, and all of the holes and details are well defined. The FlashForge logo is also easy to make out as well. This is a solid print anyone would be proud of. This next test is an all-in-one calibration test that will tell you what settings need to be adjusted. This was printed with all of the temperatures and speeds at their standard default settings. The only thing that I have done personally is level and calibrate the bed. I would consider this as close to out of the box as we can get. Next we have the Moai, the Easter Island Moai. Now these are very cool, dual filament printed, and as you can see there was an issue with the white bleeding into the blue. I tried to reprint it to see if I'd get different results, and I didn't. However, the white is exactly the same. So I wanted to test a different print and did a dual extruder model of a Charmander, and these came out really nice. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get back to the review and close this thing out. After owning the Creator Max 2 for over a month, I can honestly say that this is one of the coolest products I have had the chance to take a look at. All of the prints, for the most part, have come out great, and it's extremely user-friendly. I have only had one clog, 
which was easy to fix with the included declogger. And the vast filament support gives me the ability to create almost anything I want. In conclusion, the FlashForge Creator Max 2 is a fantastic addition to the FlashForge lineup. The price is pretty high, which is just under $1,000, and there is some serious competition from other companies around this price range. But overall, I would say it's worth it. The quality of the prints, lack of issues, and the ease of use make the Creator Max 2 a great printer. And I do recommend the Creator Max 2 for anyone looking to get started with 3D printing, or for 3D printing veterans looking for a new machine with an independent dual extrusion system. Thanks for watching. We will have more reviews coming soon. Until next time.